Are we ready? So on the left hand side is something called Shift 2. On the right hand side is something called Shift 3. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 30, Something New Birthing, Cycles, Trivet. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting several things. We have cleared two more mornings a week for composing. Um, one of our key accomplishments in this episode was making a demo Muse score. Declaring tonality has been reinforced as a useful method in this series. And composition provenance has become a thing. We just showed you Shift 2 and Shift 3 as an example. So we're going to keep articulating painting and music metaphor ideas. We started that in the last episode and we continue that today. For example, in painting, you have brightness and color. In music, you have interval and timbre. You also have, we have arc structures. And from the skeletal system, we have cheekbones. We looked up uh, pictures of cheekbones and showed that the skull, which has cheekbone bones, shows up in everybody's face where the skin and flesh cover it. That said, the key results were we completed and posted the mid-score demo vid, which starts like this. So, shall we, what if, how about we do this? Well, I'll make a, and then it ends like this. And that was a 443. So what we like about this is it's been in our bucket list for a while, and we did it. And uh, a shout out one more time to Fox Creative Gaming. We took a 51 minute elapsed time where we were both working on stuff and kind of chatting back and forth and boiled it down in the final version to 11 minutes of straight demo. So we're pleased we got that done. Um, the rest of the time we spent taking the shift two, which you heard here, which was generated on a MIDI keyboard. And after quite a bit of, uh, when well, we annotated it and declared it to be in custom scale 14, uh, we came up with this version, which we're gonna play for you in its entirety. So here we go. So what we like about this is, we really like it, it was just kind of 
pings for us. It also is, again, showing this idea of painting metaphors. And tempo, we should add to our list, is another thing, factor that you can change in uh, music. And I guess the equivalent in painting would be a lot of fine detail versus a broad brush stroke. Um, so we clearly have that down here in the fourth line. Uh, also, um, the idea of layers. So here we have one backbone line. But in the middle section, we had a dual backbone playing together, not always the same note at the same time. For example, here. And they, they complement each other. And, but for some reason in the middle, that worked. So anyway, uh, this further illustrates our idea of using the painting metaphor for ideas. I guess we should really add tempo up there somewhere. Um, our ideas for next time are to continue working with the shift series. Um, in particular, we think we could make a nice uh, composite video like we did in one of the other pieces of music. Um, we have something called the Raga series that we could also resume working with. That would give us two things in play. And because of this idea that declaring your tonality. We did a demo in the in the session where we took C, D, E flat and we reflected it according to four different scales and it came out with three completely different reflected and one that was identical. So usually we just reflected it in one tonality like CS16, but now we're realizing not only can we generate a second theme out of one, we can generate a uh, two and three more even. Shout out Silent Lurker, we appreciate you. 808 Diffraction stopped by, Fox Creative Gaming for the demo, and Mr. Spat showed up again. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.